If you'd like your app users to be able to continue using a map when they get disconnected from the network, or when they choose to go offline, ArcGIS Runtime APIs are for you. ArcGIS Runtime APIs let you provide a custom offline experience to your users when ESRI's out-of-the-box apps, such as ArcGIS Field Maps, don't meet all of your requirements. To include an offline map in your app, you'll need access to an ArcGIS portal, such as ArcGIS Online, and an ArcGIS Runtime API which you can get at developers.arcgis.com. So now, let's head to ArcGIS Online and sign in. Technically, you don't need the API to enable a map for offline use because the enabling part is done on the portal. Now that we're here signed into the ArcGIS Online portal that we'll use in this video, which happens to be the portal used by the runtime team. Let's click Content to take a look at a map named ALS Clinic Map. Clicking a map in your content area takes you to the map's item details page. This is the item details page. Let's say that you created this map, so you are the author of it. As the map's author, you can access the Settings tab that lets you enable the map for offline use. Note that if you weren't the map's author, you could open it in the map viewer and save it down as your own. In this example, we are the map's author, but when we go to settings and scroll down, we don't see a checkbox for enabling for offline use. The most likely reason we wouldn't see this checkbox is that one or more of the map's layers has not yet been enabled for offline use. So let's go back to content to check the map's layers and make sure they're enabled for offline use. In this example, the map has only one layer named clinics. So let's go to its settings and see if we can enable it. As we see here, the Enable Sync checkbox was not checked. We'll go ahead and check it. Now if we go back to the map, we see that the Enable Offline mode is now available to turn on. Once we turn this on and press the Save button here, our map is now ready to be used offline when a network goes down or a user deliberately goes offline. To control updates, click this Advanced Options button. If you want to control whether this map's features will get updated via downloads to the device when connected, or if you want the map to use a local base map already on the device, click Advanced Options. Note that no matter what is selected here for downloading updates to the map on the device, users' edits for this map will always be synced back to the service when connected. Now back to the Enable screen. You can predefine map areas for your users by clicking this Manage Offline Areas button. If you know what map areas your users will want to use, providing offline content for your users becomes much simpler. You can predefine those map areas for them, which saves them time and is also easier for you as the developer. Otherwise, your users will need to select the map areas they want to take offline ahead of time, before they go offline. Here, we've zoomed into an area we want to define a map area in. Let's use the Rectangle tool to draw the map area we want to predefine for our users. When we click Save, we'll see a gray box that says Packaging inside it. While it's saving, let's create a second predefined map area for our users, this time a triangle shape. Instead of using the default name, Let's give it a name we want by typing it in the name box. When we click Save this time, we see both map areas that we've defined. Because the second one was much smaller, it finished packaging first, as you can see by the disappearance of the word packaging. When you click a map area, you can see information about it, such as when its scheduled updates are. Thank you for watching this video and learning how to enable your ArcGIS web maps for offline use in your ArcGIS runtime apps. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.